Hi, this is Charlie Page, owner of the directory of eZines, and I want to ask you a quick question. What success formula are you using? You know, of all the people I've known who have been very successful, and in the 30 plus years I've been online, I've discovered there are formulas for success, that when you follow them, it just makes your work go easier and your results come much faster. Instead of fishing around for what to do next, you know exactly what to do next. So what formula are you using? What I'd like to do is start with this premise. All success depends on using the right formula. I believe that to be true. And let's look at the best ways to succeed online and think about which one fits you best. First, there is affiliate marketing. I'm sure you're familiar with that. It's the process of selling other people's products for a commission, and it might be the easiest way to start making money online. There are several key factors to success with affiliate marketing, such as choosing the right product and choosing the right traffic sources, as well as building your list. Building your list is incredibly important as an affiliate because you don't want to just promote one product. You want to be able to promote many products. So a focus on list building is important. There is another role, which is the role of a product owner. Now, I own many products online and I'm an affiliate marketer, so I have a little bit of experience on both sides of the coin. And I can tell you a product owner, being an owner of a product is completely different than being an affiliate marketer. Product owners keep all the money and that sounds wonderful, but you've got to think about the work involved as well. You have to have the idea in the first place to create a product. You have to create the product and you have to market the product and you have to deliver the product and then you have to support your customers. Now, all of these things are a joy when you own your own product because your product's kind of like your baby. You're really proud of it. You want it to be strong and you want to you know, help everybody use it because you believe in it. But it does take time and it does take work to do these things. If you like this video, by the way, you can get much more information like this at charliepage.com. Let's look at another role, another formula, and that is being a teacher. Now, being a teacher is different than these other roles. Teaching is fun if you're natural at it or if you're trained to do it. But it takes massive amounts of knowledge and research to teach well because you only want to teach the things that actually work. And how can you know if you haven't had experience or done deep research? And you need a commitment to help others if you want to be a teacher. You have to be organized. You have to be patient in how you deliver your content. And, know, and you have to know that many students will not take action on what you teach. This is a very fulfilling path if you're right for you, if it's right for you and if you're right for it. So let's look at another one, that is being a consultant. Now a consultant gets paid to help clients solve their problems. That's what a consultant does in a nutshell. I know consultants do many, many things, but that's it in a nutshell. They get paid to help clients solve problems. It's like being a doctor for business or for life challenges. To be a great consultant, you need to Connect to your client's needs, not your own idea of what, how things should be or not your own template. You have to really connect to your client's needs because each client is different and you have to have firm boundaries in place. You know, you're there to help the client. This isn't your business. It's their business. So you have to suggest things that work for them, things they can do. And you have to have a proven system that can be plugged into these problems. Now, that's not to say that a great consult consultant will say, well, just do this and all will be well. But a great consultant can see your situation, can feel your pain, can see what resources you have, and then suggest a specific course of action to find excellent solutions. Now, there's also being a coach. Being a coach is a little bit different from being a consultant. They are similar, but it's different. Consultants are a problem solution focus. That's, that's what they're looking for. They're looking to so solve one particular problem and then move on to the next. Coaches are more often process focused. They want to teach you a process of doing business, teach you a process of living that's sustainable and that is durable. But there is some overlap between these two roles. I know that. If you love helping people and can articulate a clear vision, then being a coach may be a great fit for you. Here's another one, and that is being an expert. Now, 
There are very few true experts in business and in life, but there are many self-proclaimed experts. And I believe there's one important factor that differentiates the true expert from the so-called expert, and that is experts do what they teach, and non-experts teach what they think you should do. Now, there's a big, big difference there. But if you are an expert in a thing, you have deep experience, deep knowledge, you've done the research, then that is a wonderful position to be. And that's a wonderful formula or blueprint to follow to market yourself. There's also the role of a motivator. Motivators are very, very important. There's a huge need for motivators in life because motivation is what fuels hope and hope is what brings change. So if motivating others is your gift, if you have that natural gift, consider doing that for a living. People will pay for that type of service very, very often. This often happens within the context of coaching or consulting. A lot of coaches or consultants are also great motivators. Some of them are just technicians. They just know technically the process, but many of them are are also great motivators. And many coaches or consultants will work with motivators to develop their systems. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, yeah, I'm great at motivating people to take action, but how do I monetize that? Work with coaches and consultants to help them develop their systems. Learn from them how you can deliver your material and you've got a win-win situation. You could also be the guide for others' success. This is very powerful. In fact, it may be the most powerful role of all. And it pays incredibly well. A guide is a person who comes alongside another person, generally someone who has less experience or someone who's facing a challenge, and helps them go from where they are now to where they want to be. That's what a guide does. The guide is not the hero. They know that they are not the hero of the story. They know that they are the helper and knows also that the customer is the hero. So it's very important if you're going to be a guide for someone else's success to understand they're the hero. They need to win. They need to get the reward. They need to get the accolades. You are there to help guide them. A guide helps you do the right things while avoiding the pitfalls that we all face. Guides can be incredibly helpful people to others. And there's a big market for this and it pays very, very well. Choosing your role in business and in life is vital to your success. It helps clarify your thinking. It helps you choose the right actions. And that's very important because choosing the right actions leads to success. You know, we're all going to spend a certain amount of time every day working. The key is, are you working toward something? Are you working toward what you want to achieve? And do you even know what it is that you want to achieve? Now, this may sound a little philosophical, I know that, I get it, but it is very practical because each of these roles that we've talked about calls for a different set of skills. Believe me, an affiliate marketer does completely different things every day, day in and day out, than a product owner or than a coach. Different types of work need different types of marketing, and they carry different rewards. So which one are you? It's uh, an interesting idea to think about this. It deserves a little bit of thinking time because once you know what you're trying to accomplish, you can then define the actions you need to take that will help you get there. Many things that other people will do are completely irrelevant for you. So which one are you? Leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you do visit me at charliepage.com. This is Charlie. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a great day.